we're uh, back with my old mate. Actually, back with my two old mates, <laughs> Gavin and Model Farmer. Can we call you Blake? You call me whatever you want. That's all right. Just don't. We're not going to put your number up here, though. No, don't. <laughs> <put it up. laughs> Gavin, you've been very progressive over the last couple of years. You were you, you asked us last year to get a look at the K2, and this year you've been really keen to get a look at the we're quoting it the big Smith. You've run it a few days now. Today was really a decision day for you to see if this type of trailer could work here. What's yeah. your thoughts? Yeah, no, I just did want to see what she was like around tight spots, like tight, you know, for the last job we were at, it was all pretty handy, wasn't it, Blake? It was, yeah. There was no tight gates on it at all. Yeah. To be fair, she came in gates there I thought she would struggle with, like, and she got in as well as the 18 Heron would. So I'm mighty impressed with the manoeuvrability of her, definitely. Now, yeah. He's mighty impressed with the manoeuvrability from setting up in his 880. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blake, you're the man at the helm. <laughs> I've been, yeah. You've stepped away from the 22-foot rear steer trailer, yep. tried the 24-foot triaxle. What's that process been like, and how has the 185 managed it? It's definitely different just in your rear steer with your positive steer. It's just a different way of driving. It takes a bit of getting used to now. The way it follows you more and it's working in reverse too, which is a wee bit funky in places. <laughs> but it is handy when you get onto it. The Puma, yeah, just, yeah, works it. Handles it no problem. No problem? Not really, no. She could do the front weight maybe a wee bit here and there. If you're going up out of a slab, up hills, a wee bit light in the steering. Now Gavin, you're going to bounce back and say, oh, but conditions are great at the minute. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't put the front weight on just because there was a real tight gate to get into, and I was slightly worried with the front weight, it might have been just too much, but um, I probably should have had it on right enough. Um, but I, conditions are great, ground is as dry as you could possibly get it in this country. Um, grass is dry, everything's really in our favour, you know, how, how she'll handle it. Yeah. And wetter ground, you know, later on in the season. Capacity. Right. We told you, don't be fooled. That mm -hmm. holds a lot more than you think. Mm -hmm. yeah. true, nope. to, true to my word? Yeah, no, nope, definitely, definitely. You know, looking at her beside the 18 or even 16, she's a bigger looking trailer, like she has a big trailer, but you wouldn't have think she'd have held well, the 16 key in, like she's holding nearly twice what she's holding. Like, no problem, like we've measured it and the shovel man would tell me that too. Like, you just sort of set your spout and you sit there a wee minute before you need to look near it. Yeah. She definitely does hold some stuff now. Is that something that you think we need to look towards? Because harvesters are bigger, tractors are bigger, mowers are bigger, rakes are bigger. Absolutely everything over the last, say, 10 to 15 years has kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger here. And in this country, never mind in around the rest of the world where people are buying triaxles as standard now. Is that something that we need to be looking at? Because we're not getting our trailers bigger really yet. No, it probably is, yeah. Um, but unless, you know, now I'm thinking maybe should be going that way in the future. Um, before I had tried that, I probably would have said the same as yourself, it's too big, you know, and you couldn't probably we work did with it. We did we 100%, we said that, and we, we were scared to commit to buying it, actually until we drove it about ourselves and then as soon as I had come out and yeah. said well actually we put the hands the pump and agreed and, and, and now bought it um, if we think, well if they've done that it must be as bad as they're you know as we maybe think and you do you have much tighter Blake like you drive every gate I know there's always the odd tight spot there's a few places I think it would be just that wee bit too big I don't think you could just take it everywhere yet in a year or two, maybe farmers might make it possible, but just at the minute, you would struggle in a few places. But the vast majority, I would say, you could manage it okay. Are you talking, at a guess, 95% of your work you could do no problem? Up yeah, around that, 80, 90 odd percent, I would have thought, yeah. How's the yeah. season been, Gavin? No, good. Weather's been fantastic. Like, weather's been great. Um, we've caught right up to date here, a couple of jobs on tomorrow. And there's nobody else ready the next week type thing, but 
and we've seen the year 80 before we know you absolutely love it it's running around here like a mouse eating paper um where are we at now season number this is into our third isn't third it? season third season yeah so we're halfway through season number three mm-hmm mm-hmm yeah no going well touch wood hopefully she keeps going like that well pleased with her yeah would the next change be different or the same i don't know maybe maybe slightly bigger i don't know if you need to go much bigger for what i'm doing you know my workload type thing um for chopping you're always chopping as long as possible type thing i'm not chopping yeah. any four digesters or anything so is 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 that 960 stroke 970 is that she's, what bigger is? Well, no, she's the same as a 960 horse wise. So yeah, it would be, be 970. Yeah. You'd have to move to. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, if, he, if he does that, like, you're definitely going to need bigger trailers. Yeah, bigger trailers. What, yeah. what, what colour scheme would you like to go for in your new Puma? <laughs> How long? You get your new Puma. <laughs> I don't know. Black Puma, black trailer. <laughs> oh, you'd like the Puma black? Why not? No, I mean, you need a wee colour change at the top. Go with the Puma red. Just it takes a bit of time, I may get that just to get it ordered, you know. <laughs> I'll find about it the night and let you know in the morning. A good lad. <laughs> Volvo running sweet. Yeah, well placed. Yeah, she's going really well. Um, you do really appreciate her when there's a load of that there stuff tapped in front of her, you know. But now Davies is still two two buck rifles and she can she can shift that load and two buck rifles. If you had three of those, right? If you replaced four normal trailers running around after you with mm -hmm. say three of those now leave out the couple of tight yards just in general day to day if you had three of those you confident that would replace the four trailers that oh yeah. yeah definitely if ground conditions yeah. were right you know as long as you're not in the real wet ground like i just don't know how you should handle it on that you know? just take smaller loads mm, yeah but you have to remember you're saying there about holding nearly double some other trailers that means you have to resist the temptation. It's not simple. <laughs> but, but, but that is the problem. You have to remember half. I don't think you'll run into issues with the trailer. Um, I do think your only issue ever potentially would be you have to pull the trailer yeah. through the ground. But on the plus side, I don't think the trailer is going to go down. No, no. I would say the trailer will carry well enough with the six wheels, obviously, the triaxle. Um, well, there's, there's a mate, there's a 310 <laughs> up there. I could always get the line of that if we're getting her tight. Uh, you'll have to try the 250 on it sometime, maybe. Uh, 250, yeah. yeah. Well, she's usually on the moors, you see. So, But I would be nice. You to have, see. I suppose for carton purposes, your 185 is your biggest tractor on the, on the carton duties. Yeah. It's, like, it's sort of your long wheelbase style tractor. Mm -hmm. That's... Is it a non-starter, do you think, in the smaller, like the 150 gear, that, that type of trailer, or? Personally, I would have thought so, yeah. yeah. I don't think you'd want anything any smaller than that on it. Just to keep the tractor the boss, rather than the trailer bullying the tractor. Your weight, your stance, it's just nice to have that wee bit more. I and is your business going on the model side, or are you in complete shutdown now? No, definitely not. Still working away as best I can, up to my eyes as usual. It's just torture. <laughs> you love it. Uh, he does love it, doesn't he? He does love it. I have one question for you, Gavin. I understand you're still a little bit concerned, but based on the demo, and we did leave it alone with you, would you love to own it? And I'm not saying it would work everywhere. Is it something you look at and go, I'd love to own that? I definitely would think about it next time. Changing the trailer, definitely. I mm. think just bit more capacity yeah you could do away with you could do away with a couple of trailers like you could easily you know well as you say if you're four trailers out you could definitely work with three no problem like even not filling them um but say we're, we're back to this the ground conditions are fantastic at the minute you know it's just nice to see what she was like and then you have a bit of grain to cart too you know it would look wild well <laughs> the, the new to you 570 mm. tipping into that for the grain size what do you think like yeah. Ah, yeah, would look well too. And then they'll be run to the mill, you know, you'd take a break. <laughs> you bring her back out in a couple of weeks and find out. <laughs> well, we'll be able to do that, okay. Right, guys, thanks very much. Thank we'll you. See you again soon. Bye bye.